guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to be back with you today and to share with you an update on our Dave Ramsey journey and what we've learned in three years of following the DR. Let's go ahead and jump right on into it. Okay guys, so this video is something that I love to do. Each year when our Dave Ramsey anniversary rolls around, I kind of reflect on what we've learned, what our experience has been, and where we are in our Dave Ramsey journey to date. So we started the Dave Ramsey journey right around Thanksgiving time three years ago. So in, what is this, in 2015, we started this plan and our first official budget was for December 2015 where we actually had a snowball going and we had listed out all of our debt smallest to largest we had our um, a baby step one to so our first emergency fund put away already and we started going full force so for us we started right a couple of weeks before the beginning of December so right around Thanksgiving time that year and I really can't tell you how much our life has changed since that point. Um, I looked back at our budget from December 2015 a couple weeks ago and I was just amazed at what we've accomplished over the past three years, um, how our life has changed over that time, and what we've learned. So today I want to share with you guys a few tips that we've picked up along the way on our Dave Ramsey journey. So let's go ahead and just jump right into the tips. Um, for those of you who are wondering, my husband and I are currently in baby step number two. We technically are on going into our third year of paying off debt, um, even though this is actually like our three year anniversary, if that makes sense. So this is technically like the end of year two for us paying off debt because we just had a baby. So our son is four months old. So as soon as we found out we were pregnant, we stopped our snowball um, and we kind of went away from Dave Ramsey for about a year. And that was a very personal decision. I've talked about that a lot on my channel. If you have questions, let me know. If you have criticisms, keep it to yourself because this is something that we've chosen to do. So that's just where we are. Um, so we are in baby step number two and starting in January 2019, we will be back to really having our debt snowball rolling. Um, we wanted to take a few months after our son was born to just get things back in order. Um, this is actually in December is going to be my first full month um, back to work. And actually, I wanted to be at work a full month because we'll have some holiday time off. So it's going to just be a little bit interesting. And January is really when we do get kind of reacclimated to normal finances. We, we're not in the midst of the holidays and things like that. So we will be going right back into baby step number two at that time. All right, guys. So the first thing that we have learned is that this plan truly does work for everyone. Now, I know it's so often and it's so easy to see um, a plan or hear of a plan and think, oh my gosh, well, I don't make enough money. That's not going to work for me. Or, you know, well, that, that person is in this situation, so that's not ever going to work for our family. But really, this plan is something that works for everyone. If you listen to Dave's podcast, if you've read The Total Money Makeover, you see that this plan has worked for people of all ages, wages, walks of life, experiences, anything. So there is really no excuse um, for why this plan can't work for you. The second tip that I have is that the plan is something that you have to work. So you have to work the plan. Yes, the plan does work for everyone. I believe that this plan is something that can really be effective for anyone, no matter what your salary is, what your family size is. It's something that does work and has been proven time and time again to help people to get to a place of financial freedom. But the second tip is that you have to work the plan. So you can't just, you know, half, you know, it. <laughs> you can't half work the plan. You have to go all in. You have to make the plan work. And it's going to require sacrifice. It's going to require doing different things. It's going to require living life in a way that looks different than the people around you are going to be living it. But if you work it, it will work for you. My husband and I are living proof of this. We made sacrifices that were hard. Uh, we did things that we didn't want to do. We did things that were super uncomfortable. We lived with roommates and they were horrible. <laughs> um, these people were totally that's a whole different story, but they were crazy. They totally turned on us and it was really a tough time to live through. Um, but we did it and it's something that we, if we hadn't have done that, if we hadn't have taken on roommates, then we wouldn't have be where we are today. So it's something that you have to be willing to make sacrifices for and um, it's going to be worth it. So you have to work the plan. 
and even when it feels like it's impossible, just keep going. All right guys, and tip number three is that comparison kills progress. Now because so many people from so many different walks of life have worked this plan, you can listen to stories of people who make hundreds of thousands of dollars a year, you can listen to stories of people who make, you know, tens, you know, maybe $40,000 a year, and people everywhere in between. You can listen to people who, um, you know, maybe got an inheritance. You can listen to people who had to work three extra jobs. There are so many different stories of people who have had debts of all sizes, incomes of all sizes, and really um, worked their butts off to make the plan work. But if you start to compare yourself to other people, you will kill your progress, I promise you. It is so dangerous. The Bible tells us that comparison is the thief of joy. It steals your joy when you look around and start comparing yourself and your life to everyone else. And that's not the way that God created us. He created each and every one of us to be unique. And so your story and your journey is going to be unique. So if you look around and start comparing yourself and where your family is, maybe on your debt-free journey, or, you know, your journey to build your emergency fund or fund your kids college fund or wherever you are on the Dave Ramsey plan if you start looking around and comparing and saying well you know we're taking a little bit longer or, well we're not putting away as much as that person is or whatever the comparison might be don't do it you are gonna kill your joy you're gonna kill your progress you're gonna get frustrated and feel down and feel like you're not uh, making the same strides because you're not making the same strides you're you live in a completely different place you know, uh, financially, socially, economically, whatever it is, than someone else. So if you compare those things, then you are really just going to um, be a detriment to yourself. So, you know, my husband and I live in California. It's it's an expensive state. Um, we acknowledge that. It's, it's where our family is. It's where we've been our whole lives. And so we have no intention of leaving. But it's so easy to listen to um, a podcast and hear someone I don't know, in like Illinois and they pay off their home, right? And they're like 32. Okay, well, my husband and I are a few years away from that, but they're 32 and, it, you know, Dave asked them how much their mortgage was and they say, oh, it was $100,000. And it's like, okay, well, our com situation is completely different. So <laughs> there is no way to compare that. That's not going to be our story. That's not going to be our journey. And that's okay. You have to be okay with walking out your journey and owning your story and knowing that um, if you don't compare yourself, then you are going to have great success with it. Tip number four is to fail forward. You guys, with everything, we are going to fail. We're going to try something and it's not going to go as planned. We're going to, you know, feel like oh, I should have done this differently and that differently. But if we choose to fail forward and to learn from those mistakes or to learn from that experience, then that's when we see progress. That's when we have success. But if we fail and we allow ourselves to just be downtrodden and, um, you know, to be defeated by that, then that's when failure wins. So you have to decide to fail forward and to keep moving regardless of what you encounter along the way. So tip number five is to be the lone wolf. So often, I know so many people who are, you know, go through this journey and they're doing it alone. Their families aren't doing it. Their close friends aren't doing it. Their coworkers aren't doing it. They are really truly going it by themselves, whether it's just them as a single person or them with their spouse and their family, whatever it is, they are really kind of the only ones that they know on this journey. So you have to be willing to be the lone wolf. If you're going to you know, choose to do this thing, then you have to choose to live unlike other people. You know, Dave's st statement or, you know, kind of um, life motto, I guess you could say, is to live like no one else, that one day you can live and give like no one else. If you're willing to live like no one else will right now, then one day you can live and give like no one else can because they won't be able to afford it. They won't have set themselves up financially to be able to do such a thing. So just be willing to be the lone wolf because honestly, if you live this lifestyle, then you're going to continue being the lone wolf because you'll be able to do things and afford things that other people just can't. So be the lone wolf and rock it out. All right, guys, and tip number six is to do it scared. So often in life, we really face these moments where we get an option to do something or to not do it. And really the thing that can hold us back is just being scared. And it's okay to be scared, but you need to do it anyway. So one thing that I always say is to just do it scared. If you are scared, just do it. If you're not scared, then you probably aren't going to do it. Um, you know, you're, you're not going to be out of place to do it. But really, when you're in this journey, when you're in this, you know, financial place, whether you are just starting the plan and you're 
you're just trying to get your four walls covered, you're scared. If you are looking at, you know, retiring and you're worried that maybe you won't be able to retire when you want to, you might be scared about that. If you are trying to build your emergency fund and you're scared that something is going to happen, then you're scared about that. So just do it scared. If you um, go ahead and just attack it, then it's going to be worth it and you're going to achieve that goal so fast because you are scared. That scared, um, that scared feeling gives us the fuel and the momentum to go ahead and push play and just run as fast as we can towards the finish line. So guys, those are the few things that we have learned and recognized and realized over the past couple of years following Dave Ramsey. We're excited to go into this new year of paying off our debt and just getting our finances in order. And I will share with you guys too that our debt-free date is actually about two years away still. So in total, we'll be actually on Dave's plan for about five years. And I know that sounds crazy. So I know he Dave's advice is that to get all of your debts paid off within two years, otherwise you need to sell things. Well, we didn't really we weren't really in a position to like sell anything and so we knew that this was going to take a long time and that we were in this for the long haul so that's where we are we're just trucking through and we know that um you know when we do accomplish these goals that we're going to be so far ahead of where we would have been had we just you know not gone on this journey had we not chosen to do it scared then we would have been in a completely different situation um financially than we will be when we're done so those are our tips that we have to share with you guys today. I hope you guys have enjoyed them, and I wish you all the best on your Dave Ramsey journey. If you have any questions, let me know down below, and I would love to know one thing that you have learned on your financial journey. So let us know in a comment down below. I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a great day.